and welcome back to Ozarks Live. It's time to check out what's going on in our celebrity corner. You may have heard exciting personal news for all the Kansas City Chiefs fans out there. Quarterback oh, yeah. Patrick Mahomes wed his longtime girlfriend, Brittany Matthews. The two had a weekend long celebration on the beautiful beaches of Hawaii with all their closest friends and family. Somehow we didn't get our invitation. I don't get it. Along with, of course, their doting one year old daughter, Sterling. Now, the famous duo announced their nuptials by social media posts shared to both of their pages. The post was captioned none other than Mr. and Mrs. Mahomes. Patrick sported a light gray suit with a white tie while his wife rocked a Versace dress with a flowing ruffled train. And fellow Chiefs player Travis Kelsey and girlfriend Kayla Nicole were both a part of the wedding party and Patrick's brother Jackson served as best man. And of course we wish the Mahomes all the best in their new venture of marriage. So we're happy for him. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. But I am still a little miffed we didn't get our invite. Probably got lost in the mail. That's what I say about all those celebrity wedding invites that I, I don't get. I, I'd have brought a card at least. Me too. A toaster or something. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Air fryer. Actor, <laughs> actor Jussie Smollett, most notable for his run on Empire, has been officially sentenced for his 2019 hoax attack. Smollett claimed the uh, two Chicago police that he had been assaulted by two men in ski masks outside of his apartment building and further alleging the two men had used homophobic and racial slurs toward him. It was later revealed that Smollett had lied about the entire situation and the court proceedings began after nearly three years of ongoing hearings. It's been that long? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The actor has been sentenced to 150 days in Cook County Jail and 30 months of probation. He was found guilty of five of the six disorderly conduct charges against him and, and more. So, so he had to pay over $120,000 in restitution to the city uh, plus a $25,000 fine. Yeah, I think he, he still alleges that it happened. He, he does. Uh, I think at the hearing he actually turned and said, I didn't do this. Yeah, he was I angry. I did not do this. Angry, angry. So, yeah. you know, I don't know. It was just one of those kind of stories when it everybody, <gasps> and then I it know, started to evolve in a whole Kind of unravels way. a little bit, yeah. or does it? I mean, we may never know the truth. Uh, one thing we do know, and yeah. this blew my mind yesterday, I think I was watching 60 Minutes when I saw this pass on my phone. Sad news out of Hollywood, actor William Hurt died yesterday. The Oscar-winning star of Kiss of the Spider Woman, The Big Chill, and Broadcast News passed away at his home near Portland, Oregon. According to his son, he reportedly died very peacefully at home of natural causes. Now, no cause of death was shared by family members, but he had been diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2018. Now, you will also remember him from Body Heat and Children of a Lesser God. Now, most recently, he appeared as General Thaddeus Ross in the Marvel films. Now, William Hurt had quite a career, receiving several Emmy and Golden Globe nominations. William Hurt was 71 years old. Yeah. The Big Chill was always one of my favorite movies, and yeah. I, it's really, it's, I wasn't too young for it when it came out, but it was pretty advanced when I did see it, mm -hmm. but the soundtrack alone is so good to that wow. movie, and it's an incredible story about friendship, and if you haven't seen it, um, some of the younger folks out there, I would recommend highly that you watch that one, because it's a really, really good one, of course, broadcast news. Yes. Loved broadcast news with Holly Hunter. Yeah, Hunt had had, had a wide range. He could oh, play yeah. everything from just comedic type characters to absolute villains. Yeah. And everything in between. He, he huge range. Huge he range. was good. He mm -hmm. was really good. I was completely surprised to hear that because I did not realize he had been sick. So anyway, he will be missed for sure. Mm. Yellowstone's latest season is available to buy, and the world's most beloved canary is celebrating a major milestone. Okay, Donya Bacchus has those stories and more in your Eye on Entertainment report. Hey, you're John Dutton, aren't you? Who yeah. shot John Dutton? Yellowstone fans can unravel that mystery now that season four of the hit drama is available on Blu-ray and DVD. You know my name. Jefferson White plays Jimmy. It explodes into violence, this kind of incredible cataclysmic crisis that the Duttons find themselves in. What's your name? Tyre. What's that? 
hate her. Jen Landon plays Teeter. In a weird way, she is the closest to me of any character I've played, though she presents really differently. Now I'm presenting a slightly normal version of myself, and I feel like with Teeter, I'm just like, I can let the freak flag. Why? The package includes at least four hours of bonus features. It's available now from Paramount Home Entertainment. A Netflix documentary tells the true story of a celebrity vegan restaurant owner who fell from grace under the spell of a man with a criminal past who she met on Twitter. Whereas if a popular Manhattan vegan restaurant are under arrest, accused of ripping off their workers, police say junk food led them to the fugitives. The four-part series, Bad Vegan, Fame, Fraud, Fugitive, streams Wednesday. I told I told and Tweety is turning 80 this year. Warner Media is celebrating the iconic Looney Tunes character with 80 hand painted murals. They'll appear in cities around the world. New Tweety inspired products are also being introduced. <laughs> Tweety debuted in 1942 in the Oscar winning film A Tale of Two Kitties. That's your Ion Entertainment, Donya Backus, CBS News, Los Angeles. And Hollywood rolled out the red carpet for the Critics' Choice Awards, and Entertainment Tonight was all over the middle of it. Nichelle Turner is joining us now to recap the show's big winner. Right, Nichelle? That's right, Tom and Joy. The Critics' Choice Awards celebrates the best in television and film and gives us a sneak peek at who could win the Oscars' top prizes. And the Critics' Choice for the best picture is... The power of the dog. Kirsten Dunst and Jesse Plemons took to the stage with director Jane Campion. She had a big night also winning for best director. But it was her comment aimed at tennis greats and King Richard executive producers Venus and Serena Williams that left people on social media scratching their heads. And, and you know, Serena and Venus, you are such marvels. However, you do not play against the guys. <laughs> and the critic's choice is... Ted Lasso! On the TV side, Ted took home plenty of hardware, winning Best Comedy Series, Best Actor in a Comedy Series for Jason Sudeikis, who missed the show, and Best Supporting Actor and Actress in a Comedy Series for Brett Goldstein and Hannah Waddingham, who accepted their awards live from London. Hey, I'm not gonna cry! I'm not gonna cry! And the critic's choice is... Succession. The HBO hit won three awards, including Best Drama Series. Kieran Culkin won for Best Supporting Actor in a Drama Series, and Sarah Snook won for Best Supporting Actress. She was noticeably absent, but the cast gave this explanation in the press room. She, she tested positive for COVID this morning. She's stuck in a hotel room, a really nice hotel with her husband, who also has it, and they're both feeling fine. I think it's okay. Okay. And tune in to ET tonight for everything you didn't see on the show. We're with Will Smith after his big win, plus Billy Crystal on his Lifetime Achievement Award. Award, all the fashion, the red carpet couples, and breaking TV and movie news. We have it all for Entertainment Tonight. I'm Michelle Turner.